Gas tank start hitting hitting E and Leo still punching and running at him. Leo can make make some shape. Let's say Leo wins that fight. What's the possibilities of, of the matchup with you and him? Could that be made since Al Heyman would be involved with that? If if he win, then that'll be a fight that we'll entertain. But if he loses, then it's a waste of my time. Correct. Just like Tevin Farmer. I was gonna fight Tevin Farmer. He said something about he wanted to uh he wanted to fight me if he beat JoJo, X, Y, and Z, but JoJo spanked that ass. Good. Good. I knew JoJo was going to be a world champion. Shout out to JoJo. He a good dude. You know what I'm saying? He, he wanted the real ones in the sport. He wanted the real ones in the sport. He knew what he was up against um, fighting me, and he was willing to put it all on the line. His best wasn't good enough, but he, he kept pushing and became a world champion. You know, and with that fight, it was a unanimous decision, and he whitewashed Tevin Farmer. He did, he did whatever he wanted to Tevin Farmer after having his ass split open in the second round. For 10 rounds with a whole split cut out. But you said that last year that Jojo Diaz was. Yeah, was, I said, was my, you said I that. Said, I said that. I knew Jojo was going to do it. Um, beat Tevin Farmer. I knew he had what it took to beat Tevin Farmer. I'm just an exception type guy. My skills is, is second to none. Anybody that stepped in the ring and competed against me, they'll tell you. Yeah, before we end this, man, I gotta talk about your brothers again, man. What's the timeline you think, man? That that uh, first with, uh, we'll start with Antoine. That he'll get that opportunity, man. People know he a dog, yeah. man. They probably want to stay away from him right now. Yeah, at the one nah, forty. Lot, see, that's the thing. A lot of people gonna want to stay away from him. What you think uh, the uh, possibility with him and Regis? A matchup with him and Regis. That's that's a good one. What's his, what, don't he got a nickname? Uh, I don't know Regis. Re, I, I just know Regis Progre. I don't know the nickname though. Okay. We just program. I heard the name. Because, um, you know, I had that tough battle uh, when he lost to uh, uh, Josh Taylor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to be honest with you, my little brother, he... <laughs> shorty a motherfucking monster. Y'all better get the fuck out of the way. I'm trying to tell you, man. Or, or lace your boots on real tight because he coming. I mean, within the next six months to a year, he's going to be willing to run that everybody smoking. And one of the names that he got on, somebody that he got on his radar, I'm gonna just let just put this shit out there. But Robert Easton, he on your ass. Oh, he, he on your it. ass. He trying, he trying to see you too, man. He trying to see you, man. A B, A, I, we, 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 we was trying to fight A B too. I offered to fight A B. They turned it down. A B say he don't know when he gonna get in the ring. X Y and Z. Plus, he won ten million dollars. That's a smart move, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna be like, I was gonna make AB look bad, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? We can go down the line, man. Cause my little brother won Robert Easton, that's definitely one of the guys that he want, one of the main names that he want on his list to really open the door, you know what I'm saying? He wanna kick the door in with that. You know, now, so. And lastly, your, your, your brother Antonio. Oh, man. Antonio, man, shorty, he's, he has exceptional punching ability. For him to be 118, 122, he don't hit like a 118 pound or 122 pound. You know, he got that exceptional pop. He got that uh, at any given time of the fuck. Touch you. That's your ass. You gonna feel him, you know. Um, we train different, I, man. We different animals. You know, I feel, oh, I feel this is time, man. I, like, yeah, you see all time. these other fighters get, what, you think they staying away from him? Nah, well, as of now, I don't think they're staying away from my younger brothers as of yet, but I'm pretty sure they keep looking over their shoulders like, man, where the fuck they at? Because when they do come, we're going to get the fuck out their way. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We ain't really stepped on the gas with my younger brothers yet, but we about to start stepping on the gas and we're going full throttle. We're going full throttle with it. So everybody who is somebody in that weight division or near it, y'all might want to get on y'all shit or get the fuck out of the way. Now, as a fan of the sport, man, I, I, I want to say, man, we want to we want to see the best fights happen, man, and we're hoping that that one of these things and, come through. And hopefully, and these negotiations can probably right. start now, back up a, with you and Devin, man. As a gladiator, or Terrence. Yeah, as a gladiator of the sport, I want exactly what the fans want. You know, everyone, the fans know that I've been calling all these guys out. I've called out uh, Tank Davis, Floyd Mayweather. He gonna grab the whole mic like he was Tank Father talking about something. Yeah, nah, we'll uh, 
Gary ain't, I don't think Gary's at competing at 130 as of yet, but she was about to fight somebody that just moved up from 122. Like, don't try to play these manipulative games with the people. You can, you can manipulate the people, you can't manipulate me. You know, but um, it's that time, man. It's that oh, time. I, I gotta ask though, man, because 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 the fans want to know, man. Is there is there an actual timeline for you to vacate, or you or you plan on just keeping that belt at the one twenty six? Man, I'm keeping my motherfucking strap. Unless ain't nobody gonna take it from me. I'm keeping my strap, and I'm moving up in weight. I'm fighting whoever, and I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down for my. That was strap. one of the questions that yep, that was. I'm yep. keeping my strap. You hear it? I'm, I'm he keeping it. Keeper. Ain't nobody walking down the street as long as I got the strap. Point blank per. Point blank per. I'm the whole gatekeeper. Ain't nobody want this motherfucker yet. Ain't nobody trying. Ain't nobody gonna get it. I'm gonna keep my strap unless, unless I move up and fight one of these guys. If I fight a Terrence, you turn got belt. Yeah. He oh, he do? I don't know. I just wanna beat his ass. But if I fight a Terrence, he got a belt, and I beat that ass, then I vacate. I keep his belt. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, nah. It's, it's bad blood between y'all, huh? At this I point, to, at this at this point. Listen, to be honest with you, it ain't no bad but me. He got punched in the face for doing something stupid. I ain't tripping. I really don't give a fuck. I can I could I'm the type of person I can't walk away from a situation knowing that I didn't check it or hands it right then and there. So I'm perfectly fine on my end. I ain't no bad blood. I ain't no bad blood on my head, but I would never let my guards down against this man that I done punched in his motherfucking face, either. Now, ain't nothing been squashed between me and him. He seen me since then, and he ain't say shit too. To be honest, which he ain't look my way. He spoke to my father, though. He did speak to, speak to my father in the Olympic trial. You know what I'm saying, when my little brother made the Olympic team. But, I mean, it is what it is. If they mad that somebody else, and this is the thing, a lot of people make it seem like I was the one that put this shit out. I didn't put this out. I could have been put this shit out a long time ago. Todd, the white boy Todd was the one who put this out like three years ago when they was asking, they asked Todd about Terrence fighting, what's the guy that Danny fought? Danny got Matisse. They asked him about fighting Matisse. Terrence and Matisse and what he thought. And he was like, well, I'm not real big fan. I'm not really sold on Terrence. Woody woo you know, I ain't gonna put all this business out there, but he got into an altercation with Mr. Gary Russell Jr., and he got the short end of the stick, and I think that chin problem will haunt him for the rest of his career. He put that shit out there. Fred asked me a question to ask me, was it true? I attempted to avoid the question, and then he was like, so it's not true? I'm like, oh, no, nah, he definitely got punched in the fucking face. That is definitely true. You know what I'm saying? But nah, if he feels some type of way about that, then who gives a fuck? I really don't give a fuck how he feel. I want to fight now. He wasn't even on my radar, but since you got something to say, now I want to fight you. I'm a real fighter. Any man that said they want, man, listen. I'm a real fighter, man. It ain't nothing personal, man. Ain't nothing personal against Turn. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't. He, he, he got people in his camp that could reach out and talk to me personally. And if he had an issue, he could have called and said something. So I, on some man terms, I really don't give a fuck. I just want to fight him now. Because was, he was never somebody that was on my roster or even in my, in my crosshairs. But now I'm on your ass. What's up? Where Bob at? Come see me. Let's make this fight. Hey, man. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. There you have it. On the ropes, the WBC featherweight champion. Yeah. Longest know, reigning man. WBC champion, yeah, Mr. Know, Gary man. Russell Jr. I really appreciate your time today, as oh, always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. Straight out of D.C. Come on, man. All right. We out.